friends. So here's a question for you. Have you been keeping up with politics? Honestly, there are three things that you should never discuss with anybody ever, which is politics, death, and taxes. No, wait. No, death and taxes is what you can't get over. No. Death and taxes is the sure thing in your life. We're all going to die. We're all going to pay taxes. What's the freaking saying I'm looking for? I got it. Never discuss politics or religion with your friends. Religion, I'm not going to go there. We read romance novels. Some of us are evil little sexy demons. Some of us are religious sexy demons. You do you. You do what works for you. Politics, whatever your politics are, it's important to exercise your right to vote. And I don't care who you vote for. I'm going to vote for somebody that I love very much that I think will do great things for this country. Do I want you to vote for the same person? No, I want you to vote for the person that you want to vote for. That's a right that everybody has. And to get all of y'all kinky sex book perverts excited about voting, I've come up with some new titles that are sure to thrill you. I took my popular book, Burn For You, and I tweaked it a little just to get people excited about an election year. And now it's called Burn For You. Sure, he's kind of outside the age range of, you know, typical romance hero, but um, I did my best. Um, there's another candidate at the time of taping this. He had a real big Super Tuesday. That's right. I'm talking about Joseph Biden. Um, so for this book, I took my already existing book, Bound in Blue, and I changed it to Biden in Blue. Now it's about a trapezist named John Biden and everybody thinks he's like never gonna make it he like practically fell off the trapeze and then he made a huge comeback and now he's like you know trapezist of, of the year or at least that Super Tuesday and here's another political fact because he's Democrat the Democratic color is blue just like the Republican color is red or at the moment orange-ish anyway um, for Trump I thought I would take my book slab hands a uh, little novella that I wrote and I changed it to small hands I mean they say he has small hands I don't know I don't know what that means I don't really want to think about what that means I wish Pete Buttigieg was still in the race because I really would have enjoyed finding a way to put the name Buttigieg in one of my titles. Well, that's all I'm going to say about politics. I hope I haven't made anybody angry. That's not what I'm out to do. You vote for the person that you like the most. If you're not in the United States, I'm sorry that I've wasted like five to seven minutes of your time with this video, um, but maybe now you know a little bit more about our candidates here. Um, and by a little bit more, I mean maybe almost nothing more. But that's because I don't want to talk about politics too much. Politics and religion, we do not talk about it. You do you. And I will see all of you next week.